welcome to Lighter Than Air Flight Magazine. A balloon pilot from France has come up with an ultralight sport balloon, so light and portable that he calls it a one-person balloon system. Leandro Corradini, a balloon pilot and entrepreneur, launched his startup Flydo to make ballooning easier, manageable and more fun. For this, he made several innovations in the balloon's envelope, burner and basket and says his balloon system is the lightest on the market. We have the lowest uh, weight of uh, our balloon uh, is 12, uh, uh, 32 kilos. Well, I should uh, have a look at uh, the documentation to translate this, but 32 kilos is our 1,200 cubic meters, um, which is a slightly tight two-place balloon or a generous one-place balloon, I would say. Okay. Um, the burner is 7 kilos and the basket is 45, I think. Yeah, 45. In the United States, his balloon would be a light sport aircraft. However, in France, the balloon falls in the ultralight motor category. And for that, Corradini had to motorize his balloon with a motor and a propeller. As some early balloonists experimented with the motor and propeller without any success, Having them on the balloon is a revolutionary step. But Corradini explains that he added the motor and propeller to fulfill a regulation in France, which is required for ultralight aircraft. He explains that balloon pilots have an option to use or not use it, and it is a plug-in device. But there are certain uses to it, he says, and he is comfortable flying his balloon using the motor and propeller whenever he needs it. And also, well, it's a niche product that makes a lot of sense on a little balloon. The motor works if the balloon is small. I mean, we have pretty good performance, which might serve in specific circumstances and for niche applications when flying over forest, in canyons, in, uh, for um, a video, um, expeditions or adventure expeditions or in my case well I'm used to fly with the motor in the mountains where I live and well I'm pretty very comfortable having my motor with me I mean it makes sense of course. Corradini says that the motor should not alarm anyone in any way and as long as the short checklist and sequence to start it is followed it will work fine and the balloon system is very user friendly. Okay. So it is basically steering with some limitations. You can right, steer it right. with it's some uh, limitations. Yeah, you don't fight against the wind and the, the speeds are, are very low, I mean. Uh, but it, it's designed to be used only when you need it. You don't have to imagine an experience of flight in which you use the motor all the time. Okay. It would not be most, if that's what you are going to do, most probably you have uh, chosen the wrong aircraft type. Uh, you know, okay. so it's, uh, yeah, for for few specific situations, it's good. Even while landing, it may have some advantage over the target area. You, you can move a little bit back and forth. That's certainly the, the most useful uh, situation. And this is the one I use all the time, basically. Uh, it allows me to choose a trajectory with certain limitations. Let's imagine you always have a wind component, but inside the wind, so let's say you would have with the wind only uh, a, a very narrow angle. In fact, you have no direction control, but with the motor inside that wind direction, you can still go right and left. And well, the, the, the lower the wind speed, the bigger this angle is, okay? So it, mm -hmm. it changes the game completely, in fact. That's the point. I mean, you have a choice. And okay often happens that the best choice is never the one you are targeting, but it's somewhere else, the right and left, maybe just a few feet away, you have a very easier situation for retrieving or whatever. And with the motor, you can go there. That's it. The idea for an ultralight balloon system came to Corradini when he was training for his balloon pilot's license a few years back. He noticed that there could be a lot of improvements in ballooning technology to go light. So he looked for solutions. After two years of research and testing, he developed the envelope, the simple compact but powerful burner, and the light foldable basket that can be transformed into a bike trailer. 
But the certification process has been an ongoing effort, says Corradini. We are working into that since uh, September last year. And at some point in the future, we will release something. But uh, things go slow due to the nature of those type of things and due to also other circumstances that uh, you can imagine are, uh, and are out of control. And he is realizing that a lot of patience is needed in aviation. Besides, he says, he's setting up the company to look good in the long run. It is so small, it fits in the back of a family car. And it is so light that under part 103, it qualifies as ultralight aircraft, meaning it doesn't even require registration, pilot license or medical to fly. You can fold it down easily yourself and the envelope that can also fit into the backpack. Now the balloon could be flown in the United States as an experimental light sport aircraft and in Europe as an ultralight motor aircraft. Stories and discoveries from the exciting and adventurous world of lighter than air aviation.